blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, to give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, what you put in my heart to speak. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I have to remind people from time to time that I am not a prophet, but, but I am a humble watchman who was given a multitude of dreams and visions about the future. Now I do not know everything, I have not seen everything, and no one, no one knows everything. But most of us have been given glimpses or little snippets here and there of the future. 1 Corinthians 13 and 12 says, For now we see through a glass darkly. And now my dreams are starting to come true. The more we get into these last days, the love of many will wax cold. Even families will be torn apart. And you can see it all throughout our society. The love of many wax cold. Now more than ever, aliens, or rather demons, from hell will walk among us. And I give you the Miami Mall incident, and many more such incidents are to come. People and nations will go mad and do unspeakable things. Weird weather, severe weather is here and will get much worse. More and stronger hurricanes, tornadoes, blizzards, power outages lasting many weeks and even months for some. One day the power will go out and it will, and it will not come back on, leaving America dark, cold, and silent. It will seem that everything is breaking down. Things you depend on will stop working. And many things that you buy brand new, when you get them, they won't work. More banks, more stores, restaurants, factory closings are coming, and it will get much worse, much worse than they are now. About 50% of Americans will lose their jobs. Homelessness will explode all across America, and America will be a homeless nation. Economic collapse, total economic collapse is coming. And not just me that is saying this, but it's David, David Wilkerson in his books The Vision and Racing Toward Judgment and several others describe what he was shown involving economic collapse, earthquakes, and tsunamis coming to America. There, and there are, there are others such as Dimitri Dudeman, Henry Gruber, also saw economic collapse, earthquakes, and war coming to America. And if you want more proof, YouTube is full of people like me and David Wilkerson who were shown the future, and it was full of death and destruction, collapse, war, earthquakes, and much more. When the government goes bankrupt, and it will, social security checks will stop. Then riots will break out all across America, even in small towns. And there will be much turmoil, burning, looting, murder, and it will seem the whole nation will go mad. And then the UN will be invited in to keep the peace, but that will be a joke. With martial law, they will they will kill many people. Then our enemies will join in, supposedly, to keep the peace. War, invasion, much death, and much destruction now comes to America. And yes, America is Babylon, and America will fall in one hour. And somewhere in the midst of all this, we will experience a horrific earthquake in the Cascadia Rift area, and it will be above a 9.0. What the, the earthquake doesn't destroy the uh, subsequent tsunami will and due to a phenomenon called run-up no one knows just exactly how high the tsunami will get uh, the low estimates are 100 to 300 feet it could be as high as 800 feet or even higher they just don't know now David Wilkerson he was very specific and very sure about this earthquake as he saw it happen I have had several earthquake and tsunami dreams involving the west coast and the east coast. I saw both coasts totally devastated. Many people have had earthquake and tsunami dreams. Even Perry Stone had a very uh, unusual tsunami dream for uh, uh, over a period of several years involving the east coast. Uh, right now, so far, everyone or everything has been a, a, a slow motion train wreck. But now that train is, is speeding up, and soon, very soon, everything will go into hyperdrive, 
and more and more serious calamities will come faster and faster and get stronger and stronger until our calamities will be right on top of each other. Remember birth pains, the time of sorrows? Well, that is precisely what we're in right now. But you do not have to live in fear. Remember 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Trust in God. Pray, repent, say the blessing over your food. Honor, praise, and glorify God, and, and give him thanks for all of our many blessings. In these last days, carry your King James Bible with you everywhere that you can, as now is not the time to deny Jesus in any way. Mark 8, 38. Whosoever, therefore, shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Now is the time for sackcloth and ashes, as these are the last days. And we may only have seconds, minutes, or days. Whatever time we have left, we need to spend them wisely looking, working for the Lord, and spreading the good news of the gospel. Now, we are not to live in fear, for when we close our eyes to this world, we open our eyes in paradise. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9, For God hath not appointed us to wrath, hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. This earth is not our home, and we are simply trying to move this place to get to our permanent home in heaven, our great Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This earth has nothing we want, and it has nothing we need. We are going home soon. Now is the time to prepare for departure. God bless you, and God keep you and yours in his loving arms, just like he held me. All of you have been a mighty blessing to us at this ministry, and we love you all so very much. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. And we will see you soon on the streets of pure gold. Very soon. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all the worship, forever and ever, forever and ever. I pray, I beg to be just a humble servant, Lord. <clears throat> just to be your humble servant, Lord. That's all I want. That's all I want, to be your humble servant, Lord. To work for you, Lord. To work for you. To keep my hands busy in, the, in your work, in your work, spreading the gospel and saving the lost, Lord. Please, I beg you, Lord, use me, Lord. Use me in Jesus' mighty, mighty name I pray. Amen.